So, I wanted to talk about the old trick of putting um, milk jugs with salt water inside your trough to keep it from freezing. I've tested this. And I've used a varying number of jugs in there. <clears throat> and the only thing I can determine is that it does not work. However, the one thing it does do is if an animal wants to come drink, they can bop this down and get water out. So you could see if they're smart enough to do that, they are able to actually get water. Now the problem is if you're in really cold weather, this would refreeze pretty quickly if they didn't just dip it down a little bit. However, I think it makes it easier to break out the ice um, in the morning and it probably is a little easier for it to unfreeze or to, to, to melt a little um, during the day if your weather isn't quite so um, quite so cold all day. We're in Maryland, so we get below freezing weather in the evening and through the night into the early morning, but usually we rise right above freezing in the day. Now that actually is a bit more of a problem than you might think because the water does not um, melt very, or the ice doesn't melt very easily. So um, we actually went and bought a tank heater for our other trough that shared between the two. But I wanted to put this in here and keep experimenting because I was interested in this whole theory because people say it works for them and I'm curious if you guys are doing something different than I am, <laughs> but uh, I could certainly put some more bins in there, but we had more in before and I just started removing them because they really weren't doing anything. Um, but yeah, the salt water, I believe, and a little bit of air allows the, the uh, milk containers or soda jugs, whatever you're using, to rise to the top and not freeze when it's cold. Now... It may freeze, I mean, even salt water can freeze if it's cold enough. But um, you can see it kind of holds a spot, which could theoretically, you could push down again. If your animal's smart enough, they could push it down. But um, I've had the tops pop off these as they freeze. That's one of the reasons I've, I'm down a few. Um, I did not glue them. They seem to stay on until it freezes. Um, so, yeah, just a thought. I mean, I know some people are probably wondering if this works. Look at that. That's very pretty. Um, and again, I, I, think it, I think it has its place. If you put enough of these, they can probably get water and push it down, especially if you have a smarter animal. But, um, yeah, it, it's, it's not a perfect solution. So I'm going to save you some effort. Go out and buy a heater and run an electrical cord. <clears throat> got an electrical cord run under here. I have some of it in PVC, but my horse hasn't been bothering the wire, so I haven't um, bothered too much. But as you can see, the heater on this goes through, it's a special Rubbermaid heater for my tank, goes through the um, drain plug, <clears throat> and it installs, so it keeps everything warm. I'm not sure my fish are loving it, but <clears throat> overall, the wet water's warm enough to keep it from freezing, so... But you can see, like, this is a lot more frozen than the other one. But, of course, this is bigger as well, so who knows. But, yeah, there's my experiment for the day. I thought some of y'all might be interested in wondering if it works. So, there's my verdict. It does not necessarily, but it might do the trick if you can't run electric and you don't have enough space. But let me tell you, it's a lot easier to install... <laughs> it's a lot easier to install this plug heater in nicer weather than it is to wait until it's freezing because you're tired of breaking up ice in your trough. So if you have a choice, you know, maybe go with maybe go with this if you think you'll be miserable trying to empty it and put your hands in there in the middle of winter. <laughs> so, hope this was helpful. <laughs> have a good day.